Welcome back to lesson one on scale diagrams. Here we will be finding scale factors for various situations. So example one says determine the scale factor of the diagram below and determine if it's an enlargement or a reduction. So if I compare the original triangle to the image triangle, I see that we have an enlargement because the image is bigger than the original. So that's important to note because that means our scale factor should be a value that is greater than one. And if it's less than one, then we know we made an error. So let's find the scale factor by writing the image length over the original length. So in our diagram, we're given two corresponding sides here. So we can write that as eight centimeters over 1.6 centimeters. Now we're given the same units, so we can just go ahead and divide. Eight divided by 1.6 is five. So we did get a value greater than one. And we should also note that scale factor doesn't have units as the centimeters would cancel. So it's not five centimeters, it's just five. Now for example two, we're not given any measurements, so we have to use a ruler to measure the length of each school bus to determine the scale factor. Then we have to state if it's a reduction or enlargement. Well if I compare the image to the original, I see that it is smaller, so it is a reduction. So that means my scale factor should be less than one. So now my scale factor is going to be the image length. So place your ruler along top of the bus here. And you can measure that in centimeters or millimeters, whatever you like. I'm going to use centimeters here. Now place your ruler in the corresponding length on the original bus. And for that I got eight centimeters. And now I can reduce that or divide it because you can express your scale factor in a variety of ways. But I'm going to write it as one half, which is less than one. Now for example three, it says the scale diagram of a tree is shown. The actual height of the tree is five meters. Determine the scale factor of the diagram. So I need to find the height in the diagram from the tip down to the stump using my ruler. I got eight centimeters. Now I need to divide that by the actual height of the tree, which is five meters. Now we don't have the same units here, so we're going to have to convert the five meters into centimeters. So doing that, I get eight centimeters over 500 centimeters. So now we have the same units. So again, I can express this in different ways. Fraction, decimal, percent, ratio. I'm going to change this one to a decimal this time. So 0 0.016. If I had to get a decimal, that was irrational and it didn't terminate or repeat, then I would keep it in fraction form. Now for example four, it says Ruth measured the distance between St. John's and Toronto on a map to be three centimeters. Now the actual flying distance between the two cities is 2,109 kilometers. What is the scale factor? The scale factor is going to be the map distance divided by the actual distance, 2,109 kilometers. So here we have a situation which we have different units. So I'm going to go down to the side here and change my 2,109 kilometers into centimeters. And to do that, I'm going to just change it into meters first by multiplying that by 1,000. Then multiply it by 100 to get it into centimeters. 
So I get 210,900,000 centimeters. So now that they're the same units, I can reduce this fraction to be 1 over 70 million and 300,000. So again, there's no units with the scale factor. And this is one where I would definitely leave in fraction form or even as a ratio as opposed to changing to a decimal.